Alexander Magomedov and Conor McGregor. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy, and as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor. And just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was going to do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two-division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez. There's just too much to say about the notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger-than-life character, and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management. Few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor, and they look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomedov! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. All right, so the rematch is upon us. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Got to think both sides might change some things up here in advance of the second. Round. You have to make adjustments if you're going to be successful in a rematch. Those two fights are the same, so you have to approach it as if you guys have never fought before. I know the Nurmagomedov camp has made adjustments. Big punch from the clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the camp. And they separate. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Away. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by McGregor. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nurmagomedov's got the full mount. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Cole. Looks like he's trying for submission now. Attacking arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk to through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.